What's up guys, David Alexis here. Today's video is about momentum. Anything in life we do requires momentum if you want to be successful or happy. And it is a very important variable to how we feel short term and long term and what we'll accomplish. But with it also comes balance. Here's why and how, coming up. I'm trying to put you in the worst mood, uh. P1 cleaner than your church shoes, uh. Belly point two just to hurt you, uh. We all have our place and our own responsibilities. Some go to school, some go to work, some go to the gym, and some just exercise in general. Now, we also have little extra things to do. So that was first like the specifics, like you either go to school, you go to work, exercise, go to the gym, go to the gym and boom. But then it's the, the little things that count in our lives that make the most difference. Well, not really make the most difference, but you just generally do in life. Like for example, those things are go shopping, take care of kids, do chores, do the dishes, paint our nails, cut our hair, um, um, what else? Um, go to church, um, study, grow our business, grow our YouTube channel, etc. All these things in life require momentum and balance. For example, I found five things that require momentum and balance. One of these things is keeping old friends and family, doing your chores, uh, learning new things like driving, cooking, um, YouTube, Forex, Amazon, um, game, gaming with girls, and now something new, Bitcoin, you know, learning these, trying to build new skills and shit. Um, working out, like going to the gym, and then going to work, going to school, uh, doing your homework, going to college, working on your dream job, stuff like that. All of these things require momentum. If now we get lazy and slow down, which isn't bad, it's just that we'll start to feel like slow, inferior. Uh, a word that a lot of people use is stuck. I'm pretty sure you've used it before. I know I've used it before. And so you just feel like basically you're not moving forward. I um, mean, your life is boring, you're bored, you're lazy, you're stuck. Basically, yeah, you're just not moving forward. Without momentum, basically you'll feel lazy, lost, stuck, unhappy. And I made a video on the four steps in order to change your life. If you haven't gone check that out, make sure you go check it out. It's gonna help out so much to finally change and get out of depression, but really just change your life. But basically, yeah, one thing that I wanna talk about is being lost. Do you feel like you're lost because maybe you don't have your life handled? Will it fall into place? Maybe but I wouldn't risk it. I wanna make sure I make my life fall into place, not life just falls into fucking place. Cause some people it just does, some people it doesn't. Like stuff has to happen in order for it to fall into place. But basically you're not lost. Something that I learned from Gary Vee is that he says that you're just early in the process. Um, you're not fucking lost. You're just early. Like if you think about it, you're fucking 18 or you're in your teen years or you're 20, but you're not thinking about that you're gonna live 80 to 100. Like you think about it, it's like basically like this. Here's 18, uh, and then here's 100 or 80 or whenever you're gonna die, 60 years. You're not looking at that timeline. You're looking at this. You're worried about what other people are doing here because you saw that somebody, um, you know, they're doing their dream job or, you know, they got their degree or they have a nice car, but you're only focused right here. You're not thinking about that you're gonna live to 80 or 100 or 60. You're worried about this, you're worried about short term. I talk about all the time, focus on long term. I preach about this all the time. So you're not lost, you're just early in the process. Think about long term. If, if you have fucking 40, 60, 80 years left to live, you got time, you know? So don't say you're lost, you're not lost, you're just early in the process. Some people figure it out and that's okay, but that's them, worry about yourself. The truth is the world and the world and really everything moves forward. Time is moving forward. Um, a good example is really just the world is always moving forward. A lake, a river, it's always moving forward. No matter what, if you're depressed, if you're stressed, if someone screwed you over, if someone broke your heart, it still moves forward. Same thing with a tree. No matter what you do to it, it's gonna keep on growing. Obviously, if you fuck it up, like start like feeding bad chemicals, it's gonna stop. But in general, like it always keeps on growing no matter how you are. So as with your, your friends and your family, no matter how you are, they're gonna keep on moving forward. Hopefully they're like like that in that mindset. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is, everything is moving forward and if you're not moving forward, you're staying stuck. As I said, I talked about how most of you guys are, like say that word a lot, like I feel stuck. And the truth is you are stuck. But if you're stuck, you're going backwards. Like if you're not moving forwards, you're, you're going backwards. 
yes, you could argue that you're staying the same, but if you if you think about it like long term, you're going backwards because you're not moving forward. And so I'm I'm saying uh, go get yours, you know, uh, start that YouTube channel if you if you know what, why you're depressed or why you're sad. Let's even put it that way, like change it. You know, go get yours. If you see that, I see it a lot on Snapchat. Back then, a year ago, I'd probably be, um, fuck, bro. Like, man, that's not fair. What the fuck? Oh, wow. They're just lucky. Oh, they're spoiled. You know, I see a lot of people on Snapchat, like, they go out to eat every fucking day. Always chilling with their friends. And maybe it's because they're in high school, and so they, they have to be close up. And they even have jobs. And it's like, for me, it's like, whoa, shit, I don't have a job yet. Um, I went last week for the interview. But they did, said they didn't have positions. But I went to go, and then I quit my other job that I had for three days. It's just I wasn't fit for it, so I'm looking for the right thing. And here's the thing: it's not bad to complain, or it's okay to complain. But if you're complaining and you, and you, and you know you can change it, then it's wrong. The reason why I'm not complaining or sad or depressed that I don't have a job or that I'm not having fun, that I'm not buying food like these people, is that I'm not envious. And that's their game. That's their lane. Like they're like, go ahead, do that, have fun. I'm thinking long term. Not saying that I'm better, but I'm gonna be having that fun as well. It's just they're focused on short term, not long term. Um, which is fine. I want to eventually go out to eat and buy a bunch of food, hang out with friends. But I realize that I'm not doing what it takes to get there. I'm not applying to jobs. I'm not, you know, trying to be social. Is it my fault? Fuck yeah. But I don't care because I'm not complaining. Like, you know, you got to understand that. It's okay to be where you're at and, you know, complain or not complain. And not complain, you know, and look at other people's life and be like, oh, wow, you know, be proud of them. Like, good job. Like, you're doing good. I, I love your lifestyle. But that's just not you. That's not you. Like, you got to focus on yourself. So basically what I'm trying to say is really that. Like, stick on your own lane, stay on your own lane, and focus on yourself, and um, go get chores. You know, if you see that you're broke, go get a job. That's if you're complaining, you're like, fuck, I'm broke, or man, that's not fair. You know, if it's not fair, it really is fair. They're working, you're not. You know, but I'm not complaining. I'm not being like, man, what the fuck, they're lucky, or man, they think there's a shit. I'm not. A year ago, I'd probably be saying that, but now it's like, you know what? They got theirs. I haven't gotten mine. I quit. I worked for three days. I haven't been applying because I've been doing YouTube. I've been doing trying to work on art, but I haven't. I probably that's probably a 2018 New Year's resolution goal and extra. Uh, but you know, yeah. So I'm not complaining. I'm Gucci. I'm good. But yeah, go get yours. If you're broke, go get a job. Start applying. If you want to start a YouTube channel, go ahead. Put out the ideas. And you're gonna suck at first because everything you first do, you'll suck. And I'm gonna make a video on that as well. And shit, my first videos they suck shit. Like there was no background music. Um, I was like super like blah 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 like still no no like facial movements no like lang body language none of that shit so yeah go get yours what I'm trying to say is the world's gonna keep on moving and you're gonna you're gonna be forgotten your friends are eventually gonna move up be happy for them but I know deep deep down it's like because we're imperfect we're humans you're gonna feel a little bit of resentment like what they're doing better than me because everyone wants everybody to do good unless you're fucking negative but no one wants to no one wants to admit that someone your friend your family is doing better than you. You want them to do good, but you don't want them to do better than you. Cuz then that means you're not working hard enough or you suck or you don't have the ambition, you don't have the work ethic and basically it just comes down back to you. It's like, "Fuck, I suck." You know, so go get yours. Um focus on long term and yeah, man, go get yours. Focus on yourself, stay on your own lane. Now, this is where short-term and long-term comes into play. Everything's moving forward. You have to have momentum. If not, you're gonna, you're gonna lose it. It's like as these examples. Uh, let's say you're working hard on your dreams, YouTube, which is what I'm doing. I'm sacrificing family and friend time. I'm not hanging out with them. I'm losing social skills. I'm losing my ability to be creative um, when it comes to like conversations. Um, I'm not talking to anybody. No one's gonna really care about me in real life. Like YouTube, y'all care about me or y'all like my stuff, appreciate me or whatever. But my real, my family, my friends, they're gonna be like, man, he's, he's working too much. They might not forgive me. So I sacrifice that. So you gotta think about um, short term and long term. And then, so for example, short term, people, teens, if you're in your 20s, that's where well, you probably see it. People, they're just shopping a lot. They're getting drunk. They're going to the clubs 
uh, smoking weed, doing drugs. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. If that's your lifestyle, go ahead. I've been there, done that, but I've realized, fuck, I wasted so much money. I could have been so far ahead if I would have not done that and just saved up my money. I'm playing long term. I'm trying to build a legacy. I'm trying to, you know, inspire people. I'm trying to build up my art page and eventually be big where I can start selling pieces and be known like, oh, he's a fucking artist, you know, a painter, a painter or whatever. And I want to do like two, three. I want to do consultation as well through Instagram and make money through that. And I'm, I'm just playing for that. I want to eventually write a book and like quit YouTube and just become a fucking legend. I don't want to be too specific because if I was too specific, it would inspire you, but I don't want to give out my plan. But I'm playing long term. Now, a lot of these kids are spending money on that, which is nothing wrong. They're eventually going to realize, fuck. In my mind, it's like, okay, fuck, dude. These guys are spending so much money on going out, having fun. There's nothing wrong with it. But then they're going to wonder, like, because time goes by fast as fuck. I'm pretty sure you've noticed it's already about to be, it's already December. It's about to be 2018 next year. And ask yourself. What have you done? What have you done? I'm pretty sure you've grown. Maybe a little bit, maybe a lot. I know I've come a long way. Um, and that's that's one thing you want always want to look back to see and reflect how far you've come when you're feeling stuck or lost. Because then you're like, fuck, man, I have come a long way. Let me just keep moving forward. As I said, momentum. Keep moving forward in life. Everything keeps moving forward in life. And so... And so... Um, And so you are gonna eventually gonna realize like fuck, I'm what am I doing with my time? I'm having a lot of fun, but that matters. But you're not focused long term. You're focused on 18, 18 to 20 in your 20s, which is fine. Have fun, you know. But eventually you're gonna reach 30. I'm fucking 18, and I remember when I was in middle school. That was middle school was five six years ago, and it's like. What? Six years ago already passed? So imagine the next six years, I'm going to be in six years, I'm going to be 23. But let's say even more, like 10 years from now, I'll be 28. And then some people are going to be like, what the fuck? Living in their parents' house at 20 and they're like 28, 30, and maybe even fucking 40s. And they're like, why the fuck am I living here? Or why am I pregnant and I have a shitty house or... Um, you know, my boyfriend sucks. So I'm living in a shitty apartment with my boyfriend. We don't have enough money to go out and have fun no more. Um, all the money's going towards the baby. Uh, we're not chasing our dreams. Our job sucks. Our boss is a bitch. Coworkers suck. It's just terrible culture in there. And they're wondering why. It's because you wasted so much time. You're thinking about short-term gains, having fun now. It's okay to have fun, but you're not thinking about your 30s, your 40s, your 50s. If you think about it, if you wasted all your money um, in your 20s and you even got pregnant now all the money has to go towards the kid now all the money's going to there you don't you don't get to travel no more you don't get to go out have fun with your friends no more you know that's why for me it's like nah save up money now start investing into forex into amazon bitcoin you know real estate but i uh, probably want to save up a lot of money for that or get a loan or whatever and so focus on that you can have fun i'm not saying don't have fun it's just that you're, I'm telling you because I've seen it in my family. You're gonna be like, fuck, where did all the time go? And where did all my money go? And I see people a lot on Snapchat as well. They're like, what the fuck? I'm broke as shit. Or, you know, they don't have money is because they spend it on clothes and shoes and, you know, stuff like that. And that's where this comes into play. For every, it's a physics law. For every action, there's a reaction. So for your action of spending money, there's a reaction. Reaction also aka known as a consequence. So if you spend a lot of money, the consequence is you're broke as shit. Um, one, you're going to reach your 20s, mid 20s, early 30s. And you're like, why am I still living in my parents' house? Or maybe you moved out with your boyfriend, but why am I living in a shitty apartment? Because you're spending it on having so much fun, which is fine. But you don't need to have fun all the time. You need to be focused for your 40s. 50s because if not you're gonna struggle then and it's not gonna feel good I'm pretty sure logically it's just not gonna feel good being broke I've seen it in my family we're broke right now we're middle class we have a pretty nice house we have Wi-Fi have a camera now a laptop a decent phone but and a big TV but it's like fuck life isn't that well we have bills to pay there's not always tasty food that's another thing you're gonna be wondering why you don't have enough money to get tasty food when you're living in a shitty apartment so think long term for every action there's a reaction 
uh, having so much fun that you get drunk and then you get fucked or you fuck and then you get the girl pregnant or if you're a girl you get pregnant now you have to deal with a kid and you know you just gotta think about that to be honest for every action there's a reaction think long term not short term gains it feels good to have like a lot of money and you're like yeah flexing it on Instagram snapchat but once you reach your mid 20s 25 and then you reach your 30s and then you're gonna wonder what the hell you had a lot of good memories but you can always build memories now today in the present but money you can always make it again but it takes time and it's gonna take years to build that money back that dream car you're wondering too why do you have a shitty car it's because you didn't save up for that dream car you've been spending it on drugs on alcohol and clubbing uh, clothes you only need enough you know so for every action there's a reaction everything you do has a consequence it just does. Now, this is where balance comes in. So there's this analogy, this example of a ship's wheel. You know how it has spokes everywhere, just bam, 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 bam. It has spokes. Better yet, a wheel though, because that's more easier to understand. It, it flows better. But basically, every spoke is basically the aspects of life, which I talk about, which is the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, the six, which is keeping up with friends and family, work, studying, going to school, homework, college, dream job, etc. Working out, going to the gym basically, and learning new, th learning new things and skills, and then chores. All of these things are different aspects, so there's six. And basically you wanna have them all balanced. So momentum is good, as I said, uh, for example, a gym example, if you're working out constantly every Monday, or in my case, doing YouTube every Monday, people are gonna fuck with you, they're like, I respect them. Or man, that guy, that guy's working hard. He's coming to work every day. He has momentum. But if you stop, you start to get lazy and you stop going and you just probably give up. And so it's not, you're like, you don't respect the person anymore. And so you start losing gains, you start losing energy, you just stay stuck and then life is shitty. So that's why you gotta have momentum. If not, you're gonna get stuck and you're gonna like slow down, which isn't good. It's okay to, you know, relax. Learn when to relax, but don't give up. Keep going. And so basically this spoke, if you have, let's say, your family and friends good, uh, you're doing chores, you're working out maybe, uh, but you're not studying, you, uh, you know, you're not studying to fucking uh, go to school like college or do a YouTube channel or make that art account or make that Spotify SoundCloud account and start singing and rapping whatever you do, you're gonna be broke. Because a minimum wage job will never make you rich. Never, ever, ever. And that's where we all start. And then you really get a good job, you're gonna fucking hate it. We're in fucking work and school eight hours. We spend more time with friends and classmates in school and work than with family. We only see them fucking two days or after, after school, after work, but it's only a couple hours and you probably wanna chill and lay down and not even talk. So you wanna fucking enjoy working and going to school so make sure you find and put in the time to look for what you really love to do because if not, you will never have to work a day in your life. I think Steve Jobs said that. And so it's like this spoke, um, there's six um, spokes and basically if you roll it down and it's not balanced, then it, you're going to have a rough, patchy life. It's going to be like, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. or you roll it downhill, or downhill will probably work. Or maybe like at a slowly incline, the incline of life, going down or going up or whatever, if you put that, it's not gonna roll that easy. Life isn't gonna be that easy. But if you have all this stuff handled and balanced, it should be easy. Like obviously there's gonna be a couple little problems. Life isn't a fairy tale, no one's a pine time, like J. Cole says, but it should be fairly easy. Everything is going right. You know, sometimes it is gonna go wrong, but you have it balanced. You have basically your life, as they say, falling into place. And so you gotta make sure you have this stuff balanced. Now, you don't have to have it figure it out all in one fucking year. Like, right now, I'm only doing, I'm um, learning new skills, chores, and yeah. But, so life is, it's going good, but it's not going as good as it could be. I'm not working, I'm trying to get bigger, uh, but I don't have protein or money to buy, like, food enough to get bigger. Um, let's see, keeping up with friends and family, not really, I'm not trying to be social these couple of following years. So life is gonna be rolling kind of rough. So basically, Dictate your life, like what's going on, what should I balance, or what could I work on now, and just try to focus on how you could balance your life. 
Um, as I said, you don't gotta really have it figured out. You just gotta make sure you're taking care of these things and really focus on which one should you balance even better. And basically what I'd say is like plan out, like okay, what is gonna make me the happiest? What do I gotta take care of? Let's say I'm doing chores, I'm working out great, but I don't get to have fun. Or maybe you have money, but you don't have social skills, or you don't have a girlfriend, and you wanna start gaming, learn game, start practicing that. That's if you think that is more important than the rest of the other things. In my case, right now, career is more important. I wanna start early, try to get there, keep working hard, be consistent, do YouTube, and that's what's important. But you always sacrifice something. You're never gonna have it fully balanced in one year, because it takes time to do all of these things. And so basically, yeah, plan that. What is important to you right now, this year? Is it friends? Is it you've never had friends or you've never had a girlfriend and you want that? Go ahead, focus on that. You know, you can still work on other things, but focus more on that. Is it you're broke as shit, so you want to get a job? Focus on that, get on that. And then, basically, so you plan, and then you focus, work hard, work smart to get there. Do you really want it? How bad do you want it? Look at the bigger picture, and you're eventually going to get there. And then, uh, let's see, right here it says, try to balance it, but that doesn't mean balance it all at once. Then you're going to be fucking stressed and overwhelmed. So... Make sure you uh, try to figure out, balance it. Um, keep momentum going because if not, momentum is super important. If you stop going to the gym, you're going to lose muscle. You're not going to get that body type that you want. Um, if you're not talking to friends, family, you're going to sacrifice their trust and their relationship with them. It's going to be fucking awkward when you talk back with them. If you're not learning new skills like learning how to cook, eventually you're going to be old and you're going to have to move out of the house because your parents are like, bitch, you're fucking 30, 40 and you're still living here get out you know rent a little shitty apartment and you're not gonna learn how to cook you're gonna be spending so much money on spending that money on fast food and it's not healthy so learn how to cook focus on that focus on learning how to clean the toilets your bathroom you know focus on that so basically that's that momentum is super important you gotta make sure um, that you're in momentum because if not, you're going to slow down and that's when you feel inferior and depressed. You're like, fuck, life is depressing, life isn't going well, it sucks, I'm broke as shit. And maybe it's true, but it's your fault because you're not in momentum. You know, me, if I were to stop posting, people would probably not watch no more. After a couple of weeks of not posting, they just wouldn't watch. So you got to make sure you're in momentum. If you want to get a certain amount of like size biceps or amount of body weight, you gotta be consistent and go to the gym every week. Depends how many days you wanna do, that's how many times you gotta go. And eventually you'll reach your goal. But if not, you're gonna be skinny or you're gonna get fat or be fat. If you don't focus on your career, you're gonna be working for someone else's dream. You're gonna be broke. You're not gonna have money. You're not gonna have options. And yeah, you're not gonna have options to go out to travel uh, throughout the city, do fun stuff in the city. If, if you want to do that, or maybe you want to have bigger ambitions. I want to travel to Paris. I want to go to New York. I want to go to Europe. I want to go to Asia, Taiwan, shit like that. You know, work, you know, do that. Um, if you want to be a big artist, like I want to be a big artist um, and sell my portraits, start your like Instagram account, start painting, you know, be consistent. Same thing with being an artist, music, you know, pump pump out music you know whatever you think is important as of now whatever is gonna make you happy focus on that try to balance it you're never gonna be able to balance it all at once it could take five years it could even take ten but really just focus on what you could do today you know if it's if you don't have like in my case let's say if you want to do YouTube but you don't have money to buy a camera or a laptop then start what's important now is focus on getting a job and just focus on that save it up and then get it and then hustle to start producing content so yeah, balance is important, add momentum, because if not, you slow down, you start losing motivation, and that's when you start feeling depressed and unhappy. But really deep down inside, you know what you should be doing, and you know what's important, you know what's going to make you happy now, so do that, try to balance it, don't lose momentum, momentum is super important, and just keep doing you, stay in your own lane. I'm good, I'm good, I'm great. I know it's been a while, now I'm mixing up the drink I just need a girl who gon' really understand